Today's question, any tips in regards to starting cardio as someone who doesn't like it? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, I do have uh, personal feelings on this, as I am someone who doesn't particularly like long steady state cardio, uh, but there are so much benefits to doing it and getting um, good aerobic health that it really should be part of anyone's training, um, no matter what that is. And the simplest thing I found personally to getting started with cardio is one, finding one you enjoyed. So for me, that was rowing. And I've been tra transitioning into running as well. But finding one you enjoy and then doing the bare minimum uh, of doing it just to get started. So for me at the start, it was just ro uh, rowing uh, five 1,000 meters, which took about 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes, including rest. But 1,000 meters isn't that long in the rower for me. I found it, you know, I found it fine. There was rest intervals, so I found that I could do it. I didn't um, have psychological barriers into facing into it where I'm like, oh God, I face it to this. So I found it easy because I just chunked it up. It was doable and it, I could see progression in it because I could see myself getting faster week to week based on the program I was doing. In regards to running and other things like that, one of the things I do that I find very useful is I try and tell myself, look, I'm going to do the minimum. So for example, I might only say, look, if I don't feel good or I don't feel great, or I don't really want to go running. I'm just going to tell myself, oh, look, I'll do a kilometer. And a kilometer doesn't take that long. You know, it might take five, six, seven, eight minutes, depending on your fitness level, you know, four minutes or whatever. But after a kilometer, you're probably going to do more. And, you know, then you're probably going to do two kilometers and three kilometers and four kilometers and, you know, so on like that, because you'll feel better as you get into it. But by removing that mental barrier of, you know, some days, like, look, if you're going to run 5K, it's going to take between 20 and 25 minutes. You don't have that, you know, you don't have the time or you don't have the energy. You don't feel like it. Just by telling yourself, look, I'm going to run a kilometer, there's more chance of you running the five kilometers than actually, you know, than if you told yourself you're doing five. Because psychologically, it's much easier to run one. And then by the time you're in the middle of it, you feel better. Your blood rate's up, your endorphins are going, you feel better, you'll do a little bit more, a little bit more, and you're more likely to run the five. So that's the kind of two tips that work for me is like set a minimum that you know you could pick something you enjoy and set a minimum that you know you can do and you can always progress it more. Um, if you're used to doing kind of bodybuilding or powerlifting or strength training where you take rests and sets and breaks, you can do cardio training uh, just like that. So for example, I posted up rowing programs and bike programs and running and uh, running programs based off that principle where you do uh, sets and rest uh, different uh, distances every week on the Instagram and Facebook pages that should help you progress your aerobic fitness. And I personally do them and find them enjoyable, especially if you have that rest and set our set and rest mantra from strength training and bodybuilding. All right, guys, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comments below. You can like, share, and save this if it helps you. And as always, we hope you have a good day, and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.